Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Eric, and today we have another shiny reaction. Um, like I said, you guys have been absolutely you guys have been absolutely going crazy over shiny i definitely have been doing Tayman recently been very impressed with him see why he's you know considered an idol's idol and all that stuff um but i really wanted to get into another shiny reaction as a whole i was really impressed with replay that's definitely in my playlist just just such a nostalgic song sound and song for me um so i wanted to get into more of them we've got excuse me miss live um, I heard that this was a bop, another, a lot of people are saying this would be like another type of song that probably reminded me of songs that I grew up with, that type of energy and vibe and emotion. So we're going to jump right into it. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, Shiny with Excuse Me Miss. Bro, Jong Young, bro. That's a handsome ass dude, bro. I didn't say it enough, and we play Onu's voice is just as gorgeous as Jong Young's, too. Bro, they all gorgeous for real, bro. Come on, Key. Come on, Tayman Jackson. Yeah, bro, this this definitely sounds like something I hold on, the one. Y'all really said Tayman couldn't sing like that when they debuted? For real? For real? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the shoulder. Oh. Uh, oh my god hey <laughs> jong young slow down bro <laughs> jong young is <laughs> bro the professionalism for them to even be able to concentrate looking in it yeah bro this sound like something i grew up with bro Who, minho Bro, they got this audience in the palm of their damn, in the palm of their hands, bro. Bro, yeah, he, I ain't gonna lie, bro. He got, he got one of the best voices I've ever heard, bro. Period. And I, and I, and y'all should know this by now. I know a lot of music, bro. I listen to a lot of genres, a lot of music, pretty much everybody. He has one of the best voices I've ever heard, bro. Come on, Key. Stage presence. Well, that boy Onu look like a K-drama actor of the year. Oh my God, bro, the runs. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna say this the last video, but I'm convinced now Shiny were black men and they past life too. <laughs> that's some gospel. That's, that's some taking the church. That's bro. Tay man. The all white on, bro. They know they superstars, bro. All of their voices go so well together. They have every bass covered. Deep voice, high voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John Young. I couldn't figure out if they was live. I just assumed they was. Now I know for a fact. That rasp in his voice, they're alive. Yeah, 
Yeah, bro. About a hundred years ago, he was walking around the earth as a black man, bro. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, what? Key, bro. Key's stage presence is probably the craziest out of all of them. And they all have stage presence, but... Bro, Key, bro. I feel like he's looking at me. Look at him, bro. Look at that man. Come on, Mino, with the low... Come on with the fan service, Mino. Come on now, superstar fan service. I definitely feel like Minho is the most like the, the most appeal out of all of them. The, that like that that sex appeal on a professional level. He seems like he he has a, the most of it. I would say key in terms of stage presence visually. Jong Yun, though, charisma wise, Jong Yun and Tae Min. And I feel like Onu is just the chill leader with the insane vocal. Like he doesn't, he knows he doesn't have to do hardly anything. Bro. He sounds like he's singing when he's talking, bro. That's how you know he has a great voice. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I just became a fan, and this is so sad to watch. It's so sad and makes me happy at the same time to watch him now that I know, like, what happened. He he was a damn talent, bro. So that was Shiny with Excuse Me Miss Live. I mean, that, that, was, that was pure um, professional talent. I mean, that was just, they, they controlled the crowd from start to finish palm of their hand literally crowd was in the palm of their hand um i was saying it at the beginning at the end of the video um I, I i'm new to shiny but now that i've i know what happened with jong yun um i know a couple of uh, comments were saying in the last video that they appreciated me you know just just not being afraid to to compliment him and talk about him and they felt like a lot of people kind of stayed away from it but i just feel like as new fans, um, I, I can only speak from a new fan's perspective. Um, you know, I know a lot of the comments, you guys are long-time Shiny fans and die-hard Shiny fans. Um, but with me, I just feel like, um, just in general, like, the, the artists that are gone, like, even like I say, I talk about, you know what I'm saying, Michael Jackson all the time, you know what I'm saying, he left us untimely. Um, I just feel like these, these artists, like, I think it's it's the responsibility of those who are still here and those who love them and those who are finding out about them and <clears throat> potentially becoming fans and longtime fans. It's our responsibility to keep them alive. You know what I'm saying? It's it's our responsibility to keep them alive, to, to speak positively of them whenever we can. Um, I just think that that's just something like I don't even I, it's something I don't even think about like when I compliment you know what I'm saying his visual his vocal and stuff like that because at the end of the day he was here on this earth he gave what he gave um, he 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 made a lot of people smile he made a lot of people feel better about themselves um, and I think that that's something that that can never be forgotten it always has to be brought up um it's only right you know what i'm saying it's only right it's the energy um that he brings to the table he just seems like one of those genuine good-hearted guys he's one of the best vo vocalists that i've heard and i i listen to music on all types of spectrums they're superstars uh the music that they make is the type that uh lives on 
um, forever. I mean, they make nostalgic type of music. It's not many artists that can say that there are a lot of artists whose music is hot and then fizzles out in two, three years. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like Shiny makes the type of music that you remember where you were at when they made it. That's real Michael Jackson, Prince, um, you know what I'm saying? Like those types of legendary, iconic artists and groups and stuff like that. Like it's just, you know, New Edition, you know what I'm saying? Jackson 5, like that's that's just what it gives me. I mean, it, it, I'm just happy that I found out about them and got into them. They're two for two for me, two extremely iconic songs that just that's the lead that's just the vibe that they give me all of them has something different they bring to the table like i said before i feel like key stage presence wise um with his face and stuff i feel like he's probably the best he's the, he's probably the best at camera contact mean ho seems like he has the most like sex appeal like he he just seems like you know saying that type of appeal to him and fan service um especially with the deep register to go with it tay man i just feel like he's just they knew early on that he was just gonna be the superstar of the group they're all stars but tay man just has a little something extra about him um and, and in jong yun i just feel like charisma wise he just he led the charge for them like he just even how he's talking to the crowd and how he i just feel like that that was so natural to him um and then onu i just feel like being the leader i feel like he was such a he was a good choice of being a leader because he seems so reserved even in even in replay like he just seems a little bit more reserved than the rest of the members but he's so talented that he's just a um i don't know he he speaks through his talent you know what i'm saying and i think all groups need something like that um especially when the other members are so good with their expressiveness you need somebody uh, that that can you know, kind of rein some of that in sometimes, and I think that Onu is uh, definitely has that type of leader vibe about him. They 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 were a match made in heaven. If you couldn't make a boy group any better than this, like this is literally the perfect five chess pieces to make an elite boy group. Um, and I can't wait to get into more of them. Thoroughly impressed so far. Thoroughly impressed. Um, before we go, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, till next time.